Hello guys, here's Jumac with another Battlefield Bad Company 2 commentary. Um, it's been a long time since I posted a decent game. Um, this one was interesting because we weren't playing against high ranks and it started out, you know, very uh, typically like we would be tank hooing and wouldn't allow them to arm alpha as always but these guys started using explosives they uh, did the jihad quads and of course we got uh, UAV a couple of times and they were really into explosives particularly mortars uh, every time I would jump out of the tank to repair it that would be one or two <laughs> mortars coming at me and there must be uh, you know, majority of uh, uh, recons playing on the other side because those mortars were quick. We were like having a full tank, you will see, and suddenly poof, it was gone. So um, they kind of, um, you know, this guy you think, yeah, sh shooting it, uh, that sucks. But this was Mr. Explosives. Uh, Blanche, oh, yeah, Blanche 666. And of course, he's running with a, a Saiga. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything against it. I think it's pretty stupid to be running with a Saiga on this map, but he was just um, going for the C4, so I guess that's just uh, his default kit. But, you know, fate, uh, he just got shot by his own weapon. Uh, I was kind of setting up a trap, but uh, that didn't work out because I'm shooting the Sega like a noob. Look, <laughs> nope, that's not a distance where Saigas are good. Um, and this is how I died most of the time, trying to repair the tanks and uh, getting mortared. And uh, they did... Um, flank us a couple of times and and spawn at the back and arm the crate but um, mostly the important crates were taken down by explosive jihad bikes uh, by that same guy uh, I didn't know that but uh, when I watched the footage uh, it's all yeah and they liked the C4 who is this uh, somebody else yeah so they did do a lot of flanking and uh, of course there's gonna be more to coming very soon, uh, maybe not. Oh yes, there it is. Okay. <laughs> and so I saw a, a tank spawn, so I just just realized that I'm going to take it a fresh one. So I, I did get some kills with the tanks, but they did really did uh, destroy and arm the crates, uh, not very quickly, but uh, effectively. So it was really down to the last base. Uh, there's a few I, I wanted to switch with uh, my friend, and uh, we got C4 by this very blanche character. And of course, look, you know, it started falling, and we're almost dead, and many times went down to like one or two percent. So I wanted to take control of this right side but then I got uh, a call out that they're arming Bravo so I had to come back and we sort of couldn't extinguish the fires um, they really were able to flank us um, and my friend is really really angry usually and now we will see a c4 but no it's a little later so he got out to disarm and listen to the snipers i was gonna give him some cover but you know it's left hand side right hand side <laughs> so and mortars mortars perhaps no okay well they probably came just a short while and here's Mr. Blanchet doing his evil deed, but I was focusing on the C4 guy 
and we lost the uh, the crate. And they did manage to arm both Bravo and Alpha in here, I think. Yeah, I need to learn how to go and not shoot people and just go hide. This was totally lucky that these guys spawned behind me and I got them. I wasn't aware of them. Um, and I screw up this because there was a guy running on the right hand side and I was focusing on, you know, saving the the Bradley and uh, the guy that was on the right hand side. Now I'm focusing on the guys covering Alpha, but the guy on the right hand side is still there and he gets me. And so we're down to the last set of crates and I switched kits to medic because I just wanted to ramp or revive everybody and just at all costs uh, you know cover alpha I knew that they're gonna be jihading it but there's a rather difficult path to it so I can't to take the, the left side really um, I fail with a revive here that would be a total Rambo, but still. Um, and I really don't want to switch to Engineer because as soon as I would switch to Engineer, the tank would be gone and then I would be stuck with a kit that's useless. So I was sticking to, and I, I suck pretty much here. Um, I thought I could get them quickly, but they are being behind the fold and I can't really get them and I'm surprised that I'm still alive finally get the guy and there's a lot of fail at, at this part there's still the tank I just wanna keep these guys alive we don't have many engineers you see that uh, my friend took the same kit as me a medic because you know it's a really great I, I completely fail like but this guy luckily fails too I I saw my friend go down, but I didn't know where from, and he was just sitting next to me. I get shot with another Saiga. And um, I wasn't very optimistic, because they were still able to flank us a couple of times, but uh, it was down to a good call-outs. Uh, but this was doing a great job of telling us where they are. And he was also going for the knives. I'm not a big fan of, fan of that, but he's able to pull it off, so why not? Uh, it does uh, demotivate people very much. I know that I'm really pissed off when people keep taking my dog tags, but I just can't. It has a, a huge impact on on uh, being able to cover crate because if you shoot somebody immediately, he can't get a spawn and okay I saw somebody in the back but I don't know if he actually was there but I thought that there's somebody on the left side luckily another sniper I was pretty lucky that somebody got rid of him now I totally thought that this was my teammate and it actually was a uh, and he disappeared so I just revived the same guy and I don't know if this was like I can't even tell now because it was just so mad. <laughs> everybody was shooting everybody. It was crazy. Well, we have both Alpha and Bravo, but you can see they already damaged half of it. I didn't really see with what. But I did see okay, this guy. How did he get on top of that roof? Maybe from the back? I don't know. It's not a very... Oh, okay, there's a shed, right? So, through the shed. Interesting. Yeah, I was, I was watching the left flank, but they didn't really take it all that often. And... Um, so yeah, there's still, there's still, like, I, I've been playing it for so long, and I still screw up so many times. Um, I, there's so much cover around here, and uh, I don't make use of it. So 
horrible. Like, why am I in the middle of the thing? It's gonna spot people. Right here, that's that's the C4 Jihad guy. And there he is. Luckily, there's a barrier, so he actually exploded. And I got this guy. And here's an example of how terrible I am. I get this guy, but I am. Uh, maybe a little later, sorry. So, see this guy? Revive my teammate. And they get stuck, of course. I don't know why I thought I can fit through. And it's always good to put the, the ammo kit next to the box. You're getting a ton of points in the game. Yeah, this is this is the fail. Like I shouldn't have. Sh I knew about this guy, and uh, but I saw the other guy. I thought I'm gonna shoot him and then hide. And it's bullshit. I should have just immediately go for cover and then get him because he was nicely on the in the open and. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to care too much about Bravo, so uh, I stuck around Alpha, but I still failed. I got 40 millimeter grenade, uh, and of course he's got explosive upgrades. I mean, Mark II. Um, but I get revived nicely, and I managed to take him down. I, I luckily I just sprayed because <laughs> I was so mad there. Um, not very concentrated at this point. I just wanted to mow them down, and uh, you know the the medic class is excellent for that. Okay. If if the alpha crate was better accessible, then they didn't have to take. You know, look at it. Like he was doing it every single time. I don't know why he chose not to. Actually, it's somebody else, isn't it? Yeah, that's somebody else. Okay, that explains. Otherwise, it would be a jihad bike if it was that Blanche guy. Ah, uh, yes. Blanche, hello. I really wish I knew. And I was totally ramp reviving because uh, I just wanted to have as many people around the box as possible. Funny that sometimes it's impossible to reload the thing is it's almost reloaded, but I do want to pick up the, the guy immediately, and then it takes another two seconds. And uh, I revive more than well, I failed here, but I think I revived more than I killed at the last stage. But uh, that, that's a that's what makes the difference if they can't wipe out everybody. It's very hard to arm Alpha. And again, Patrice was giving us call-outs, but I didn't really see anyone in the back. But we're down to five tickets, and uh, so that's the end of the game. I went uh, pretty above. Uh, I didn't know where the sniper was. So I thought he's on the left side somewhere. Uh, I'm kind of sad that in uh, this is my sort of uh, lame... <laughs> cheat just tapping the select button trying to find people because I really have a hard time finding people in the longer distances and uh, that's not gonna be in Battlefield 3 so I'm, I'm probably gonna miss that and all the hardcore guys are now saying yeah you have to grow up and be like a real soldier oh well so I went 50 to 14 which is quite above my average and uh, it was a game that we actually had our ranks which is great although we had a great game where we didn't have them but I'm not gonna post that anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you next time